Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Gibson. And one of the tests that we want to do is we want to evaluate your autonomic nerve function. And that is done through a two different tests. One is called pseudomodal and the other is called QSART. Today, we're going to talk about the QSART test, which actually stands for Quantitative Pseudomotor Axon Reflex Test. The QSART or sweat test measures the nerves that control sweating, which are the autonomic nerves. The test can help diagnose autonomic neuropathy. Um, it's used oftentimes with peripheral neuropathy to determine if you have an autonomic portion of this uh, peripheral neuropathy. It also can show you a little bit of small fiber neuropathy depending on the QSART test. Um, and so it's, it's, it's valuable in that way. And it basically determines how well the body's internal organs are functioning. Because the autonomic nervous system controls body temperature regulation, blood pressure, heart rate, digestion, to, just to name a few. And because of that, it actually allows you to determine, okay, how well is this autonomic nervous system working by a simple test that that uses a process called iontophoresis, where it creates an electrical current across the skin that allows acetylcholine to be released. Um, and because of the acetylcholine, it stimulates the sweat glands to release sweat or really to release uh, chlorine ions that are measured. And then they determine, okay, is this working like it's supposed to or not? The whole point here is the QSART test is a valuable, very valuable test for peripheral neuropathy and should be done. If you've never had a QSART test and you do have peripheral neuropathy, you're losing the opportunity to determine if you have an autonomic neuropathy. So it's very important that you do it. I recommend it. And I would tell you, yes, get it done, even if there's a little bit of cost to it, because it will allow you to determine which of these, uh, one more of these pieces of peripheral neuropathy. Remember, peripheral neuropathy can be large fiber sensory nerves, small fiber sensory nerves, motor nerves, and autonomic nerves or any combination. So you want to know all of each four of these. You want to test all four to make sure you know which pieces are involved in your peripheral neuropathy so that you can move forward correctly in managing your peripheral neuropathy. This is Dr. Brant Gibson, and this is your Neuropathy Nugget, day 256, the QSART test for peripheral neuropathy.